Christmas gift guide. I've come up with a few things to share with you guys today, things that I've given as gifts. I'm also going to share a few things that I personally would like to get as a gift. Hope you enjoy, and I'm going to bring you into the kitchen first. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to share, I actually have gifted as a gift. We got one of these pans for Joshua's mom last year for Christmas. She got it in a like really pretty blue color. These pans come in tons of different colors. This is called the Always Pan. This is by the brand Our Place. I have had this pan for definitely over a year now, but it is literally the only pan I use anymore because as you can see, it's like really deep. It has the most amazing nonstick ever. Comes with this beautiful, little wood spatula here but i am obsessed with this i also love the color too just like this really neutral pretty color so it's really deep you actually can boil things in it as well a few weeks ago i got their new perfect pot and it's meant perfect so this also comes in a few different colors so you can steam boil anything you want in this it's Obviously super deep, comes with this pretty little wood spoon that sits perfectly right here. So I'm really excited about this. If you did what I did and you got somebody the perfect, or the always pan last year, maybe the next thing they need is the perfect pot. So this was an amazing housewarming gift for Joshua and I since we just moved into this new house. Something else that we were just gifted from our place. Let me show you guys in the cabinet. So we just picked out a few dishes from here. So these are the plates we chose. And I definitely wanted something a little bit more modern and just neutral for our new house. Like I've said before, we eventually want to redo our kitchen. So for what I have in mind, these plates are going to go really well with our new kitchen one day. They have a cool little lip on them so nothing like slides off. And these bowls, they're just like really modern and pretty and I'm really excited about them. So we've actually been using these for a few weeks now. I feel like these could make a great gift as well. I mean, I've shared before in a video the Our Place cutting board which we have and some of their knives, all of their products are just amazing so i feel like any of those things would make a great gift for somebody that loves to cook or somebody that just moved into a new house or just likes pretty things for their kitchen i'll have all those things linked down below and thank you to our place for gifting us some items to pick out for our new house another new item for joshua and i is our air fryer which we keep in our pantry i actually showed this on instagram a couple of days ago we just got it out of the box and it's just so adorable so you can air fry and it's a little toaster oven it's by Cousinart. it was recently on sale hopefully it still is as i link this for you guys but the reason why we chose this one both of my brothers sister-in-law and now my parents have this air fryer oven there's amazing reviews on it everybody loves it so I just felt like if everybody loves it, then I feel like we probably should get the same one. So we chose this one, it's white. I think everyone else in my family has the stainless steel, so it does come in a couple colors, but I thought the white was really pretty. Also, Joshua and I were just at Walmart the other night, and they do have a bunch of really affordable air fryers. If you wanna give that as a gift, but you don't wanna spend over $100, they did have some great air fryers there. There's also another one I was debating between. It was like white with gold on it. It was really pretty. I'll insert a picture of it, but that one's um, a little bit more affordable too. Another great gift idea, if you guys just want to do something simple, this is what we're doing for our neighbors because they just brought over a little something. I got this really pretty box from Target. This is sugar paper. It is all about how you present things. So if you have a pretty box, some pretty tissue paper, make it a little bit more personalized with a pretty gift tag. And then I'm gonna make some homemade chocolate chip cookies cause those are kind of my specialty and put them in here. And I think that's just a really great way to give a gift. Honestly, you could do that with anything. You could do it with sugar cookies or any sort of special treat that you like to make. And this is just a great way to present it some to someone. It just makes it look like you put a little bit more thought into it and makes it a little bit more special. Another thing I like to get around Christmas time is like that clear wrap. I meant to get some. It's like clear wrapping paper and you can pretty much wrap it around anything. 
tie a bow on the top and it makes everything just look better so another idea i had for a very cute gift would be a little cutting board this is from target everything is from target that i'm showing you right here would be to do a little cutting board a little cookbook a pretty spatula i think this is actually from walmart you can set it all in the clear wrap and then tie a bow up here and then it just makes a really cute little gift this would be a great housewarming gift or just another great gift for anybody in your life that first of all likes joanna Gaines, which who doesn't or that likes to cook or wants to get into cooking but i honestly feel like the clear wrap is so handy for around christmas time because you can do really great gift baskets with that you can do wine cheese another little cutting board some pretty fruits wrap it all in a basket and that's a really nice idea too especially if you're heading to somebody's house for a christmas party it's always nice to bring a little something you might have to get down a little bit lower i brought in reinforcements hello for my next gift idea which this is great for anybody 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 and that's board games i also think it's nice just to get board games around christmas time because you're getting your family together and it's just something fun to do to break the ice and get everybody relaxed so these are a few of our favorites so some easy ones you've got code names i won't explain how to play any of them but these are all family friendly yeah like pretty easy to catch on and just like fun games yep or yeah group games so code names one of them they have a diff couple different uh kinds of this one so like they have like disney code names stuff like that so the other one we've got is a 20 second showdown we've played this with our friends a lot this one is hilarious you pretty much have 20 seconds to complete a task flip the timer go on from there so that one is a blast hi buddy dude like, Do you like this one but our all-time favorite game our all-time favorite game so far is, uh, as you can read, Chameleon. I think I showed this in last year's gift guide as well, just because we're so obsessed with it. Yes. They also made another one. It's downstairs. I didn't grab it, but it's called Snakes. So it's by the same um, creators, but uh, a lot of fun. Lots of fun, especially in a bigger group. If you like Mafia, you'll like Chameleon or Snakes. So those are really fun games. And then... This one is good too. This one's really good. I play this. We play this with my family. Uh, this is Monopoly Empires. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Monopoly Empires. You're pretty much uh, it's Monopoly, except you're just trying to build your billboard up. Okay, but I will say I never like playing Monopoly because it always takes so long to play. This one is very quick. It doesn't take hours and hours, and it is really fun so yep there's special cards that allow you to do certain things like steal people's properties and all that so yeah and it does end up speeding the game up so it, it does. doesn't take as long and everybody we've ever played that with loves that loves game. it thank you for joining us for this segment thanks for having me okay take care everyone right. something else that i have shared before but is always a winner is this ug blanket this is the softest blanket. So we have two of them. We have it in white and we also have it in this gray color. This is like the softest throw blanket, but it's a very big throw blanket. You know some throw blankets you put on and it just, it's not big enough. This one is super big, cozy. I personally think it's softer than a Barefoot Dreams blanket. These do end up going on sale. I think you can get them on bed, uh, at Bed Bath & Beyond and maybe even be able to use a coupon. I actually gifted one of these to my sister-in-law last year. She loves it. It's just a really great heavy duty blanket. Now, a throw blanket is always a great idea. When Joshua and I were at Walmart the other day, we did see these blankets. They actually looked like Barefoot Dreams blankets, but you could basically wear it. I'll insert a little clip of it. It actually looked like it would be a great gift idea i mean you could do something like that with like a cute little journal or a coffee mug or something and that would be a little bit more of an affordable option because the ugg blankets are a little bit pricier but to me they're totally worth it another one of my personal favorites is a planner i buy myself a new planner every single year so nobody would be able to get me a planner just because I always end up buying it. Um, this is the one that I have been using 
for the past year. It's day designer. I really will use my planner every single day. I think the ones from Target are really great because they're a little bit more affordable. You can go on the day designer website and I have bought some of their other ones before. They're like a little bit thicker. There's just more to it. They're probably around $50. This exactly what I needed and I think it was about 20. Now this is from the sugar paper line. This is the one that I got for 2022. I just think it's really pretty. I wanted a white planner, but it does come with really pretty stickers and it just has a really nice layout. As you guys can see. So this would make a great gift for somebody too. This has my grocery list on it, but you could also do, this is from Sugar Paper last year, but you could also just do like a pretty little notebook with it. Sugar Paper has really pretty pens. You could pair it with, for somebody that's just like the planner in your life or somebody that likes to be organized, they would really, really like this gift. Another thing I have to mention is slippers. Now Ugg has some really cool, unique slippers that I was really tempted to get or put on to my Christmas list, but I decided not to. Um, they are more expensive, the Ugg slippers. They're usually always around like $100, but I have seen some really fun ones this past year. Guys, I am a sucker for Walmart slippers though. Um, these are Walmart slippers. There is a pair of Birkenstock slippers that look almost identical to these. They're about $180. I've seen them kind of swirling around on the internet, people sharing them like on Instagram and stuff. And I'm like, why don't you just get these? They're, I think probably like $12, $13. And these do come in a few different colors, but these are my go-to. Recently, I did just get these little Sherpa ones from Walmart too clearly wear them all the time like anytime I'm in the house I have slippers on so I wear them down pretty quick so that's why I just like to get more affordable ones because I just wear them out and another thing to kind of go along with the slippers is a robe but that's actually something I asked for for Christmas this year I found one from Amazon I've seen a few other influencers share this exact robe but I got it in this really pretty, well, I don't know if I got it, but I asked for it in a really pretty brown color. I noticed Walmart has really nice robes too. Super, super soft. Also, Target has a robe that literally looks exactly like the Barefoot Dreams robe and is super soft as well, or there actually always is the Barefoot Dreams robe, which is super soft. And the last thing I wanted to mention were a couple bags. I asked for this little Cavu fleece sling bag this year. There was this Lululemon Sherpa belt bag. I think it's called the Everywhere belt bag, um, but it was Sherpa. And I think that sold out really fast because I cannot find it anywhere online. And I see that people are reselling them online for like over a hundred dollars. So I don't think they're even selling it anymore. But Sherpa bags I've noticed are a huge trend this year. If you know somebody who's into Lululemon or active or anything like that, I know that they would love the Lululemon everywhere belt bag. It's just a really pretty basic little belt bag. So that is everything that I had to share with you guys. I hope you felt like you got some good gift ideas. If you guys have any gift ideas, leave them down in the comment section so people can check it out, get more ideas. But like I said, I'll have everything linked down below in the description box. If you're on a mobile device, you can literally just click on the title of this video and it will show you everything that I have linked. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new or haven't subscribed yet. Follow me over on Instagram and I will see you guys really soon in my next video.